up guys welcome back to my channel today is labor day and i just got back from my rooftop and i swear it is like a vegas day party up there <laughs> i'm like no thank you i'm gonna go home and film a video so here i am um, today's video is going to be a favorites video because there's a lot of new products that i have been loving today i wanted to go through all of them and tell you why i am in love with each product the first product i want to talk about is this guy right here and this is the uh rep and it stands for real elemental practice and this is their organic cotton treatment toning pads. Unlike most toners, which you have to, you know, buy separate cotton pads for and distribute it across your face, this comes with the cotton pads already inside and it's been sitting and soaking in that toner. It has calendula, chamomile, and lavender, and it smells like lavender, which anything lavender, I love so much <laughs> it's made without parabens or sorbic acid benzoyl alcohol mineral oil this is the first thing that i do right after my face is cleansed i just take one cotton pad and gently distribute it all over my face and it, it takes away that excess dirt that you have on that maybe the um, your cleanser did not take off what's cool about the cotton pad is that one side it's more smooth and on the other side it's more uh, rigid so it's nice to exfoliate on that end i like to use the rough side under this area because it's so i don't know i just like to exfoliate this area it gets kind of weird down here and then i like to exfoliate around my hairline i realized like you put a lot of bronzer and stuff towards your hairline and sometimes when you're washing your face you don't just get this area too well so i like to take the cotton pad and just really get in there um, and you'll see the dirt actually come off so it's it's really nice um it just adds the pH balance back into your skin. So Rep is a Korean brand. Um, I've been really into Korean skincare lately, and this is from SoCoGlam.com. So yeah, I have really been enjoying this guy right here. Up next, we have this guy, and this is the SK2 Facial Treatment Essence. And this is what I use directly after the organic cotton pads. I like to use Essence after toner, and on the directions on the back, it says to take it on a cotton pad. But this product is like, it's just some real good stuff in here, and I don't want to waste any bit of it, so I don't like to take it on a cotton pad. I like to use my toner with a cotton pad and it removes everything. And then I like to take the essence directly onto the palm of my hands um, and then just pat it onto my skin. So SK2 is a brand that's based out of Japan. The main ingredient in this guy is Patera, and this is a clear liquid that has amino acids, vitamins, organic acids, and um, it helps with firmness, uh, texture. This is like vitamins for your face. I mean, it just has all that good stuff in here. I feel like I cherish this guy a lot. It's going to help uh, prevent your face from getting, you know, aging really fast from all the makeup that we do because we all know we love to beat our face with all this stuff you need to invest in a good skincare regimen just to you know give back to your skin so i've been loving sk2 facial treatment essence my last skincare item is this clean it zero this is from vanilla co and this is also from socoglam.com and this is a korean brand what this is is a makeup removing balm um this stuff works amazing it, it takes everything off a lot of my friends use this um, so i had to try it out you literally just take a dime size amount rub it in and it takes away it breaks down all your makeup and then you use warm water to take it off and then you go in with your cleanser and then you have a squeaky clean face my next favorite is a concealer from nars and I mean, I don't know if this is cliche or not because I know everyone loves this concealer, but but I really, 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 really love this concealer. So I just have to feature it um, in my favorites. It's only appropriate because I use this every single day. And this is uh, the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. Um, and 
This is their new shade in creme brulee. I love this concealer. Two reasons. One, it's not super heavy feeling. It just, it feels lightweight. I mean, it doesn't feel like Makeup Forever full coverage concealer. I feel like that's really, really thick. The Radiant Creamy Concealer just feels really good. And two, it gives great coverage. Um, so it's like a win-win for me. I, I love this concealer so much. You guys should definitely try this out if you're in the market for a concealer. Up next, we have an eyeshadow from ColourPop, and this is uh, their Super Shock eyeshadow in the shade Un, and it looks like this. And this is from Jen's ColourPop collection, which is called Jen is and this is in the shade Un, which I think it's one in French. Don't, don't take my word on that, because you know I'm not no expert here, but this is my first ColourPop eyeshadow where I hit pan, and I only hit pan because I been using the same little dent for a few days now, but I still have a lot of product left, but that's just how you know I've been loving this eyeshadow. It's in my inner corners right now. I've been wearing this like almost every day. But I just take this on a synthetic pencil brush, and sometimes I spritz it with some Fix Plus, um, and then I just pop it into my inner corners. You guys should definitely check this eyeshadow out because you need this in your life. My next favorite is not a beauty item, it's a film camera, and it's this one right here. This is the Olympus film camera. This is a vintage film camera that Silas's mom bought in Hong Kong before she came and visited him in LA, and she brought it over, and it's, it looks super old, and I didn't know the potential that it had. Um, you just open it up, and then you literally just point and shoot it. The photos turn out so beautiful, and I just really miss printing and developing photos. I feel like now everything is so digital. It's so, I don't know, it's, it's nice and refreshing to actually have a nice print in your hands, and um, you can hang it up on your fridge, you know, you can frame it, uh, you can make like memory books with it. Yeah, this camera has been awesome. I've made so many memories with this guy. I love it so much. Last but not least, I have a game I want to share with you guys and some of you may know about this game, but this is fairly new to me and it's this guy right here, Monopoly Millionaire Deal. And this is the card game, so don't get it confused with the Monopoly board game. It is kind of similar, but this game has been so much fun. I've been playing it all the time, and I'm actually having withdrawals because I haven't played it in like a week because I was in Hawaii. So the <laughs> I'm laughing because I am the worst explainer. Every time we like recruit a new player, Andy, my cousin, he always tries to have me explain the game, and I literally start off like, Okay, so you have this blue card and you want to match it to the other blue card and everyone starts laughing at me because that literally did nothing. I said nothing to help the person understand. I'm like not a great explainer when it comes to card games because it gets kind of complicated, but all you need to know is that you need to get this game and play it with your friends because it is so much fun. In my group of friends, we play for dollar Venmos. So, it gets pretty serious because by the end of the game, and if you're playing with a good five people, that's five dollars you'll win. If you guys aren't familiar with Venmo, it's, it's an app where you can just transfer money to your friends very easily. Um, so, <laughs> yeah, we play for dollar Venmos and it's just the best because sometimes I win like, you know, two times in a row and I just get all these dollars and I'm like, Yes, go to the strip club. <laughs> you guys should look it up, play it. It's so much fun. I think it's my favorite card game. And I'm not a huge card player, but it's uh, something that's great to bring your friends together and just have a good time. All right, guys, so that completes my August favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe if you haven't already. We are almost at 700K, and I'm very excited about that. So please go ahead and support by clicking that subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you had an amazing Labor Day weekend, and I will see you guys in my next video. Love you so much. Bye!